Hello friends, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Greetings from my kitchen. This is not quite a vlog, but I still just wanted to be as transparent as possible. My point in coming to you and sharing with video with you guys today, as you have obviously seen by the title, is I am going to be going on my own food journey of sorts the next 40 days. I am going to be doing a no processed sugar practice, if you will. Today is Ash Wednesday. It's the first day of Lent as I'm filming this. A couple of friends of mine who are also here on YouTube, Brie and Darren of the Royal Arts channel, and Brie also has her own channel, Debt Free Brie. Darren and I were at an event yesterday. We actually did a Young Living class, which was very exciting. And uh, we all went and had dinner, and we're just kind of chatting amongst ourselves. And I kind of confessed how I thought it would be really good for me to give up sugar during the Lenten season, but then also just because it would be a really good practice for me in general in my health and wellness journey. And then we kind of left it at that. And and then a handful of hours later, I chatted with Brie on the phone. She gave me a phone call and I have to tell you guys, I'm so grateful for Brie and Darren's friendship because Brie really helped me step up. She asked me if I would come along with her, that she had decided to give up processed sugar for 40 days during the season of Lent and wanted to know if I wanted to do it with her. And I said, you know, that is a brilliant, brilliant idea. So we kind of set our ground rules and we're doing it for the Lenten season. For me, I'm both doing this as part of uh, the season of Lent and my own spiritual journey and my own spiritual process. I have been actually thinking that it was something that I needed to do for a while now and I thought it would really be wonderful to coincide with the season of Lent. So I just wanna clarify that even though I am choosing to give up processed sugar during the season of Lent as part of my spiritual practice, that I'm not saying that you have to give up something in the season of Lent. That's not really why I'm doing it. So I'm going to be doing that on my channel and keeping a video diary of sorts. And Brie and Darren are gonna be doing the same and so we're gonna be checking in. So um, as I post videos, I'll put links to their videos in my show notes below. And so I would encourage you guys to go over and check out their channel. And I think they'll be sending you to my channel. So if you're coming over to see my channel from uh, either Brie and Darren's channel Royal Arts or Brie's channel Debt Free Brie. Hello. I just wanted to kind of do a quick ground rules welcome kind of video to this series. I'm probably not going to post every single day. Uh, I think that would be difficult for me to manage and I don't want to follow behind. So I'll probably be um, putting a video together every couple of days or so. So there may be days where I vlog. I'll put pictures in of the foods that I'm eating. Um, if I'm struggling, which I know I will, I will make sure and share that as well. Just want to give you guys a realistic picture of what this is going to look like for me. Honestly, when I first heard the challenge of going sugar-free, my mind jumped to the really intense challenges where people give up every form of sugar. You know, they cut out every fruit, every natural sugar. And while I would really love to do that, and I think it would be amazing, I just don't think that I have the bandwidth to do it right now and do it well. I feel like I would fail at that pretty quickly. My husband and I are planning on taking some trips both this month and next month leading up to Easter. And I just wanted to make sure if I did something that I could do it intentionally. Um, my word for the year is intention and I felt that that really fit in along with what I'm trying to do. So I wanted to make sure that I was doing something that um, yes is going to be uh, difficult in some ways and will really take some follow through and some dedication but I also didn't want to do something that was unrealistic for the season of my life. So when I say I'm giving up sugar I'm giving up processed sugar. So that's no creamer in the coffee, that's no added sugar. I love to use stevia in the raw and it actually has sugar in it unfortunately. It's probably why it tastes good. So I'm going to be giving up those kinds of things and I have cut out a lot of the processed sugars from our house. I don't use actual processed sugar in beverages anymore. I rarely if ever drink sodas um, because I had to do that for my own health and wellness in the past. Uh, a couple of years ago I was actually pre-diabetic and had really high blood sugar and had to get it down. So I have done a lot of study and a lot of intentional things in my house and in my diet to keep my sugar levels down, but I still splurge. I have a sweet tooth. I love gelato and pastries, and I have a sweet tooth. That's just um, my cross to bear, I suppose. It is a real thing, and I think sugar can be very addictive, and I'm sure that I am addicted to it in some way, and so I want to do what I can to be better about that. So we said that we would just cut out processed sugars added sugars. I mean, there may be some items that I have that have sugar in them, but I'm going to do my best to read my labels and um, 
be as intentional as I can. Brie was talking about us going into our pantry and cleaning it out on camera, and uh, I didn't get to filming this video until later today, so unfortunately um, I don't have the footage, although I can turn my camera around. There's my pantry door. But what I can show you right there, next to the crazy pile of dirty dishes, are all the amazing things that I've taken out of my pantry to put in a bag or a basket or something to just get out of the kitchen per se. I have a Stevie in the Raw packet. I have my agave nectar. I have my raw honey, my local honey, maple syrup. Um, those were the first things and the main things that I found in my pantry that I'm definitely not going to be consuming for these 40 days. So those are going away for 40 days. Um, I am still gonna allow myself to use stevia. I'm just gonna try and use it in moderation. Stevia is technically a natural sweetener. It is not artificial, it is not sugar. For me, that's not a cheat as it is a natural product and I do have a stevia product that is pure stevia. You really have to watch a lot of stevia products have added fructose, which is real basically sugar. So I did my research and I found some stevia packets that are just pure stevia so I'll be using that this month and I'm also gonna allow myself to have fruit I'm just gonna have to be really careful not to go crazy because I'm sure when I can't have that sugar and other sources my body is gonna want that I think it's really easy to forget and eat too much fruit because uh, sugar is sugar to your body so those are the ground rules I know that was a very long-winded intro but I just wanted you guys to know what I was doing and I will be back soon with a new video here um, either in the next couple days or by the end of the week. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it quite yet. But again, I will just kind of chat with you guys day to day. If I don't film a particular day, I will uh, maybe take a picture of what I'm eating. Um, I'll definitely share with you guys the struggle because hashtag I know the struggle will be real. I will see what I can do about maybe at some points filming with Brie and Darren. The other concessions that we have made is that I do have a couple of times within this 40 day period that I have a special event going on. We are going to New York City my husband and I to see my favorite show in the entire world. It's on Broadway for a brief amount of time. I'll vlog it if I can, but it's gonna be a very quick trip. Um, I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna go wacky wild, but if we go to a nice dinner, I'm gonna allow myself. If I have a split of dessert with my husband or um, choose to have a coffee drink or something, I'm just gonna allow myself to have a little bit of an indulgent there because it was a planned trip. And then we also have a party that we're going to be giving for some friends this weekend. And they're amazing cooks and they're moving out of state. So I'm going to try and still have almost no sugar. So other than those two planned times, I think I'm good. I'm not going to be doing anything else. Uh, we are going to be taking a trip in April. Um, I just don't know if it's going to be before or after Easter. So if we figure out that we are, I will figure out how I'm going to address that. But except for those very specific cases, um, I am going to be very diligent. Now, all that being said, I have to tell you, it's day one and I already cheated. I know. Brie and Darren, if you're watching this, you're probably going, <laughs> just don't hit that dislike button, people. Please, please, please. I'm telling you this to be real. I actually was making my coffee this morning and in a complete absent-minded haze, or I don't know if it was that absent-minded. Maybe it was a Freudian slip. I don't know. Um, I was being really good. I put cashew milk in, which has no sugar. I used my stevia. I put in cinnamon. I put in cacao, like straight cacao powder that has no sugar. And then I added some of my non-dairy vanilla coconut creamer. So there's not a lot of sugar in there, but there's sugar. So I did that, that was the first cheat. And then I was, ooh, let me show you. I have to visually show you this. So my other cheat was really random and I don't even know why I did it. So it's gonna be good to get it out here. It was during the middle of the day when I have to really watch out. That's when I want a snack. That's when I want to eat something unhealthy. My beloved sweet husband surprised me with this beautiful tin of chocolates on Valentine's Day. How cute is that? And I actually haven't had that many. I've maybe had one or two pieces since Valentine's Day, but it was sitting on the island and I did not put it away. And I opened it up and what did I do? I had a piece of chocolate. Did I need it? No. Did I need to cheat? No. So I'm looking here, a serving size is four pieces, thank the Lord. But oh my gosh, four pieces of this has 20 grams of sugar. I'm pretty sure I just had at least five or six grams in that. So yeah, it tasted good, but I shouldn't have done it. So putting this in the pile of items that are going to go far, far away for this 40 days. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're giving up anything like this for Lent or if it doesn't really have anything to do with Lent, if you're just 
doing a detox program. Maybe you're giving up gluten. I've been watching Elizabeth Madero's videos. She's going gluten and sugar free for 21 days. Go Elizabeth, so proud of you. Let's cheer each other on in the comments, let me know. Or if you're not, just chat with me about that. Because there's been a lot of times that I've wanted to do this and I haven't done it. And honestly, I wouldn't have done it in this moment, but for my wonderful friend who called me and asked me to do it with her, and so she both offered that encouragement and that accountability by saying let's do it together. So really appreciate that. Um, go check out the Royal Arts channel, Debt Free Breeze channel. The links will be down below and um, follow along with us as we do 40 days without processed sugar. I'm actually really excited about this. I think it's going to be great. I have heard that the first handful of days to the first week is hard and then it gets easier. So we'll see how that goes. But I already cheated today. So kind of feel bad about that. But um, my eating in general has been really clean. Besides that, I had some avocado avocado toast this morning with my coffee and then I had some leftover grilled salmon and some veggies and Greek yogurt dip and I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store for some good healthy snacks so I won't be tempted to go out and get something else and so we'll have a good healthy dinner tonight. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm excited to share with you guys these next 40 days without processed sugar. Very, very excited. <laughs> What have I got myself into? Have a great day, take care, and I'll be back at you soon with another video. Bye.